it's Kamiko back again with another video hey guys so today I'm in Florida and I am getting loaded it actually was supposed to be a preloaded trailer but the trailer that I came to pick up wasn't working correctly so um, I went ahead and asked if I could just use the trailer that I brought in and they're gonna go ahead and load me so I'm at Anheuser-Busch and you guys I wanted to record yesterday and the day before but something's going on with my phone it's um not enough memory or whatever and i don't know i really have to invest in getting a camera so that's something that's next on my list is to get a camera and um that way i can record as often as i'd like so i wanted to record um there were so many things that i was recording and then my my phone just shut down so hopefully I can get through this and post the video and I'm headed to Alabama and from Alabama I'm headed to South Carolina um, and from South Carolina I'm headed back to I think Georgia I think I'm going to Decatur and then back to South Carolina or something like that so um, you guys oh my god so yesterday and this was so good so much good content that I could have used but you know it is what it is um, there will be more content trust me in trucking there is so I had did a get ready with me shower video it was just a shower routine I wasn't you know, showing much I was just you know recommending products that I use for my shower and for moisture and to keep cool and stuff like that um, when you're out here in the heat and the humidity especially when you're in the south and then um, I also did a um, oh I wanted to record what happened with my trailer that I had so the first thing that was going on is that the pins would not pop out when I pulled the valve so if you guys have ever had that issue please comment below I wanted to reach out to you guys but again my camera or my phone was acting up so I couldn't do it but um, I ended up having to go and get that fixed and I ended up staying at the the place where I had to get that fixed for about four hours but I got that done and I realized that there was uh, tr uh, the tread was coming off of one tire and the other one um, had the steel showing I mean all the steel was showing y'all so after I did that I ended up staying in Jacksonville Florida and I ended up having um, on road sent someone out to go ahead and fix the tire in the middle of all of that the guy that came out to fix the tire from TA he um he said that his uh airline broke or something on the truck and he had to travel 25 miles he was already there he was already putting the tire on and everything but then he said the airline broke and then he had to leave and he had to travel 25 miles to go get another truck and then 25 miles back to finish the job so he did that and the whole while you guys I'm in Florida so in Florida you know there's lots and lots of lakes and ponds and all kinds of stuff and you always see these warnings that say crocodiles nearby alligators nearby and snakes beware of snakes and that is so crazy because yeah I'm deathly frightened of snakes as well as of course crocodiles and then and alligators I mean you know and then I have to walk my little dog and so a lot of times those ponds are near grass and that's where she wants to go do her business and it's like oh my god every time I love absolutely love Florida but every time I come out here I definitely have to be aware but you know it's it's just like being in um, Arizona California New Mexico and, and you have to worry about coyotes and stuff like that so you know I mean being out here on the truck we have encountered some wild animals me and my little baby so I mean it is what it is it comes with the territory and hey that's trucking as well as the um, the repairs and stuff like that sometimes repairs will slow you down a lot of times repairs will take you all the way out of service so I was glad that I had one day um, once I unloaded in the morning day before yesterday actually yesterday morning I unloaded at I think what 11 and then I didn't pick up this load or schedule to pick up this load that I'm on now today it was the next day so yesterday was the 18th today is the 19th 
So, and you guys keep in mind, I'm putting these videos out in real time. So that's a lot of times why I don't actually tell, you know, where I am because I don't want, you know, anybody to see me and, you know, be like, that's her, that's her. Not to mention, I have a guy that keeps coming onto my page and he's not only stalking me, but he's bullying and he's, um, He's saying nasty things. So one thing that he's saying, you guys, and I wanted to make a separate video about this, but at the same time, I also want to put it out there that I don't feel this way about myself. And so what he says, I really don't give a shit um, because I love me and I know my self-worth and I know what he's saying isn't true. So what he's saying is she's got the nerve to put Kimiko, pretty girl trucker behind her name. Um, what's pretty about her? y'all like he's trying to get other people's opinions and then one person chimed in and did a lol with the crying emoji type of thing um instead of defending me because i know that i'm not ugly and i know that i am a pretty girl and i know that i clean up very well you know being on this truck is nothing you know nothing for me to i mean anyway I, that's why i didn't even want to entertain it but it's nothing for me to get myself juiced up and, you know, be looking um, like a baddie. Not to mention, baby, even me being like this with no makeup on, tired, hot, whatever the fuck, I'm still a baddie. You know, if, if, if only y'all could see this yeah. body, yaddy, yaddy. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to come and say that part. So if you guys happen to see this guy in the comments, and I, I did go over to his page to check him out. Period. He is nothing to call home about at all, period. So I know that it's bullying and, you know, I don't know, whatever. He's Yeah, yeah, I was saying he's obviously got some type of deep-rooted hatred for himself to get on a random stranger's page and, um, you know, just say stupid shit and, you know, bash people. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Like I said, I went on his page and he ain't all that. But anyway, I digress. He's not even worth talking about anymore. However, you guys, I'm here in Alabama now. And I am um, getting loaded. And it's taking forever. And I'm fucking tired. And I'm ready to go to bed. And you guys... Hey, I watched this movie. Actually, it's a documentary. If you guys happen to have Hulu, go on to Hulu. There's this documentary called Betrayal. Um, Secrets of a Husband or something like that. Um, it was so good, y'all. Homeboy was doing too much. And I don't want to really give it away. So if you guys happen to see it, leave a comment below. We can talk about it. I think what I'm going to start doing is a little series where I recommend different movies and different little shows that I watch. And if you guys have watched it, we can kind of talk about it and kiki about it in the comments or whatever. And um, I have a surprise for you guys. So I want to do a giveaway. I'm actually trying to become monetized, as you guys know. And um, I need 500 subscribers, 500 more subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. So I think I'm going to do a giveaway and um, also you guys, please like the video, share the video, comment as much as you can, even if you just put a thumbs up or a heart or whatever the case may be, because I need that interaction. I need the watch hours as well as um, the subscription. So I need subscribers. And, um, yeah, hopefully I can reach that thousand, um, subscribers soon. You know, I've been on YouTube for quite a while now, I guess. I don't know. I was, I was talking to someone and I was telling them that, you know, I really want my personality to show because I'm really like a kind of crazy, wild and crazy type of person. Like, not wild and crazy, crazy, but I could be goofy. And I don't show you guys my goofy side. And I want you guys to see my goofy side. Because I want people to be able to relate to me. Um, every time I come on camera, I'm just really uh, speaking to you guys in my everyday voice. And I'm not really letting loose. You guys probably all think I'm super proper or whatever most people do when you're from California. That's what they say. 
However, you guys, I need to build up my subscriptions and I need to start pushing out videos and just really getting that interaction so that I can become monetized because that's something that I really, really want. So I went ahead and I made um, a vision board and taking YouTube seriously is one of the things that is on my vision board because I do want to become monetized and I want to start making some money out here in these YouTube streets. Like all the videos that I've done so far are pretty much um, just free videos that I'm just doing and I'm not getting paid or anything for it. So you guys, I need your help. But anyway, um, I just wanted to come back to you guys. Oh, and my phone. Another thing that happened, let me tell you guys. Actually, I'm going to save that for another video. Um, well, I can tell you guys now. Uh, my phone was tripping. And it kept saying that my memory was full. My memory was full. My memory was full. And so, y'all, I went in and I deleted a bunch of stuff off my phone. And it was fine. But then I went in and started deleting more stuff off my phone. But it was encrypted. The files were encrypted and I didn't know what the file said. And then I just happened to look at the file really long and really hard and found out that I deleted the majority of my content um, that I had on my editor, my editing software. I wanted to use that to go on to TikTok. So if you guys don't know, I am on TikTok. Um, I'm also on um, Instagram. And I believe for Instagram, I think it's it's Kimiko. And for TikTok, I think it's under Kimiko Pretty Girl Trucker. So you guys check me out over there. I mean, I'm still getting my feet wet with it and trying to um, get myself acclimated with the algorithms and, you know, just putting out content on those platforms. Also, if you guys can and want to, I have two other channels. One is called Undeniably Narcissistic. And if you just put in Undeniably Narcissistic, it will pop up. And I'm basically talking about um, narcissists and how, you know, the things that they put you through, you know. And a lot of people kind of shy away from that word, but it's true and, and it's the thing. And it's something that's actually been happening for a long, long time. You know, I listen to a lot of older songs and they're doing it in those songs. And, you know, there's narcissists everywhere. Um, people that try to control you and then, you know, love bomb you, discard you, and, you know, devalue you, and mirror everything uh, as far as your personality is concerned. And they turn around everything that you like, they like. And, you know, so I'm going to just be done with that part. But, yeah, um, and then lying and cheating. But anyway, that's what that, um, that, that particular platform is about and that one actually I do have more subscribers on that platform than I do on this platform and I'm going to go ahead and start um, continue to uh, record on that platform as well and then I have one that's called um, it's talking about um, it's not guaranteed the name of it is called it's not guaranteed and the reason why I call it that is because I'm going through a lot of life things from the time that I was actually conceived up until today that things that I have gone through that it wasn't guaranteed that I would make it out of and I'm talking about things like um, going to prison things like um, I haven't really dove into that particular platform as much as I really want to and need to because I started thinking um, I didn't know if I really really wanted to overshare my whole life on video but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking that I want to because I know that uh, there's probably a lot of people out there that could relate as well as have even probably even worse stories than what I've been through in my lifetime from day one. But yeah, you guys, so it's that, you know, talking about different things like that and um, just different things, predicaments that I've been put in. And I put myself in and other people have put me in to where they were life-threatening predicaments um, that I was putting myself into. And um, yeah, so I was sharing that and, and like I said, if you got some time going over and um, yeah, check it out. Subscribe. 
run the numbers up for me. Um, you guys, I'm gonna go. I'm still sitting here in the door. Um, I got here like at noon, and I was supposed to get loaded at um, two o'clock. I got here, I checked in, they sent me to nine miles away to the truck stop. I did go ahead and um, reserve a spot because I know that when I'm done getting loaded, I only have right now an hour and 27 minutes on my clock. So I'm gonna need to have somewhere to go uh, once I get loaded finally. So you guys, what I'm gonna do is, I got some barbecue from one of the local businesses around here and I want to check it out and I, I don't know I got a feeling it's not like our barbecue but who knows so I'm gonna check it out and see what it's like and I'll come back and give you guys a review on it however in the meantime I'm gonna go you guys and I want you to keep it between the white lines as I always say and you guys thank you for subscribing and thank you for viewing